Yeah, women <laughs> women are very uh one because their playground is emotions. So what do words do? It's not it's not violent, but it 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 evokes emotion. And what happens with women is they control the emotional space. That's why as men, you have to use your mind when she's frantic, because if you follow her emotions, you become frantic. And and usually it leads to violence for them. The women have a propensity to be much more violent than men do, if you ask me, because they're much more emotional than men. A lesbian couples in America have the highest domestic violence rates. Because it's two Very true. it's two women who are emotional trying to cohabitate with each other. We get we have this negative connotation to domestic violence. If you try to cohabitate with any person, there's going to be challenges. If you live with your brother, your mother, your family, it's going to be friction because it's multiple people with different ideas and different reference points trying to accomplish a goal. Right. That's very true. You know, I often like to use same sex relationships as examples to how we do act as that sex. And that's a very good point that you brought up. Lesbian couples do have. OK, also with this, too, just to bring this up, there's a psychologist that said that in, let's say, with homosexual males, they don't have an issue with like porn. Like they don't have an issue watching porn or having some sort of open relationship because of the very nature and how men operate. Right. <laughs> but with women, there is an issue there. They don't really there. It's not as open. It is more, uh, you know, they do seek to have more intimate relationships or more monogamous relationships and you see that in the male and female dynamic my so that's very wife, true what you said my first wife she would get so mad at me like if i was watching a flick and i was you know what i'm saying getting my rocks off she took that as a personal attack against her soul mm -hmm. she would cry why are you doing that am i not enough for you i'm like yo baby 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 like for, for any man who's getting busy who's really like making sure that his woman is pleased or, right or, or orgasms are, are, are we requ <clears throat> orgasms are a requirement if you're doing the thing you're putting in work your hamstrings your glutes your quads your core boy you're throwing that thing it's work sometimes i don't want to go to work baby <laughs> i'm on vacation right now <laughs> sometimes you just want to beat it and get it over with man i mean it's true like sometimes you just want to because it is work like and you gotta make if you're smart see we giving y'all game y'all gotta y'all gotta really tap in because everything we really giving y'all is game and is especially for men you gotta make sure she get there first you know how much energy is required in a 30 minute session a lot man do you know what 30 minutes of energy is go run for 30 minutes shadow box for 30 minutes 30 minutes of beating up that coochie is an experience and it's a workout simultaneously. You Congratulations. Know, I, you, you, first off, you're a genius. <laughs> I've heard that that's like, it is equal to so much workout when you're having that much, like sex for that long. It's yes. like an extraneous workout and you burn a lot of calories. My, my future baby mama right now, my lady right now, the first, like one of the first sexual experiences we had, I mm -hmm. put on the, uh, Miguel Wild Heart album from front to back. I waxed it from front to back. And then every time we did it, she was like, put on the Miguel album. I'm like, baby, I'm tired. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> hey, man. So I did shrooms. Uh, baby. Me, me and my wife did shrooms. And we had sex for like four hours straight. Shrooms are fantastic.